Hey everybody, welcome back to This Mom's Tale. So today's video, I am going to do the fall decor tag. I was tagged by the lovely Karina at um, Miss Stone Home. She tagged me about a week ago, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, and I was kind of waiting to do this tag video um, until I decorated for fall. Um, I didn't really go all out this year. I put my little touches in and a lot of it is the same from last year. If you guys didn't see my um, fall decor, haul I'm not haul tour um if I ever get to a computer I will link it below um but you can check that out anytime I'm pretty sure I have it on one of my playlists for uh room tours but anyways um yeah so I'm gonna jump into the questions and answer them the best that I can and then I'll just kind of show you guys what I put out again it's pretty much the same stuff as last year and um there we go so I'm gonna start with question number one is uh when did when did I start decorating for fall? Or when do I start decorating for fall? Um, usually Labor Day weekend, and that's pretty much what I did this year because I have the time. I have a three-day weekend, so it's just easier for me. Don't do a Dexter. My cat's messing with my tripod, so I know it's going to fall. <laughs> um, so usually Labor Day weekend is usually about right. Um, number two is what is your what is your fall style? Um... I really don't know necessarily what that means. I guess um, I definitely lean towards more of the natural colors. I like the deep burnt orange colors. I like burlap and creams. Um, I don't like to go all crazy um, with like, I don't know, random colors. I don't know. I just like to keep it really natural looking. I guess um, more farmhouse look, I guess. I don't know. Uh, number three is what is your favorite store to shop for fall decor? Um, well, I have bought a lot of stuff at a lot of different places. Walmart, Target, Joann's, Michael's. A lot of the stuff I have this year is stuff, or even last year, is stuff that I've gotten after um, holiday sales. So um, I got a lot of stuff from um, Michael's either last year or the previous year um, that was after fall sale. So I did get a lot there. Um, just pretty much those ran those stores. Um, definitely Target and then um, hmm, not too much of Goodwill. I do have a couple things that I've thrifted, um, but I've gotten rid of so much stuff. I just feel like I needed to declutter and get rid of stuff that I wasn't using or that I didn't really necessarily love. So I got rid of a lot of stuff. And some of the stuff I did get a give away or give back to Goodwill was stuff that I got from Goodwill. So... Um, let's see. Number four is how many pumpkins do you own? Um, I counted the ones that I have out right now. I have 26 pumpkins out for fall. Um, I know that with my Halloween decor, I have a few more, so maybe about 10 more pumpkins, but that's not a, a for sure answer. So I'm going to go with 26 for now because that's what I have out. And let's see. Number five is, uh, do you decorate the outside of your home? Now, I usually do. This year, I didn't. There's like one thing that says like Happy Harvest or something that I got from Michael's last year. And I don't know. I just, I really didn't, I was, really wasn't into it this year for decorating outside. I think because I got rid of so much stuff um, that I really didn't have too much to put out there. But what I probably will do, and I have done in the past, is I will go buy um, a couple mums, like the really big kind that you can get at grocery stores or Walmart even, and I stick those out in the front porch. I think because I got rid of some of the planners I had out there, um, I don't really have a place for that, so maybe I won't even do that this year. Um, but again, I didn't really do it this year, but I usually do. We'll put like some flowers and you know maybe a, a pumpkin or two that we get. Um, let's see. And Halloween, I usually put more stuff out in the front. I'm so tired, you guys. I'm sorry. I just got off work. <laughs> and the kids, I had to like lock them in the room so I could film this video. Um, number six is, do you host Thanksgiving at, at your home? Um, so the past, is it three years now? Maybe three or four. I have been hosting Thanksgiving here. Um, I've been keeping it very small with just my mom, my sister, and um, some of my husband's family. Um, last year I think it was even smaller so 
it just depends because usually my husband will volunteer um, at the Salvation Army and like will serve um, the homeless people and he usually takes um, my my son, my oldest son. So I think that's why the past few years I've been doing it here because when they come home and they do, um, you know, they will get some food sometimes, but like they come home starving because they work so hard. <laughs> so I usually will just cook up here um, a meal. Number seven is what is your favorite fall food to cook? Um, I don't know if there's necessarily a fall food. <laughs> Definitely lots of soups and um, like obviously turkey. And um, I like to bake. As soon as the weather starts getting cooler, I like to um, definitely experiment more with like baking. So I don't think there's necessarily like one particular favorite food. Number eight is, hmm, will you be making any fall DIYs? Well, <laughs> you happen to see uh, my last video. I made um, some Dollar Tree uh, fall decor that I made for really cheap and inexpensive. Um, right back there, actually. I'll show you guys once I'm done um, answering the questions. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. I keep running out of room and space. So I'm on question number nine, which is, um, what is your favorite fall candle? And I don't have a particularly favorite candle. Um, I like anything that smells like pumpkin spice. Um, I'm not a big fan of vanilla, but if it has a scent of pumpkin vanilla, I will smell that and I will love it. Um, I know there were some nice ones at Bath and Body Works. Um, and I don't know, I just feel like anything pumpkin is right up my alley and reminds me of fall. I'm not like a fan of, um, again, vanillas, but if it has pumpkin in it, I'm all for it. I love just, I love the smell of pumpkin. Right now I have a pumpkin candle burning that I got from Walmart a while ago and I love it. And the last question is question number 10 and it says, what is your favorite room to decorate in your home? And it's obviously my whole main living area, um, my mantle and the back table back here, pretty much my go-to spots when I decorate, just because I feel like it's easier to keep it designated to one area. I also have some stuff in my like dining area. And this year I added a few little pieces to my kitchen, which I don't always decorate my kitchen just because I do a lot in my kitchen and I just want it to be clutter free. But um, again, I'll show you guys what I did. Not a whole lot, but I did a little bit. So with that being said, those were all the questions um, for the fall tag, um, fall decor tag, excuse me. Thank you so much, Miss Stonehome, for tagging me. It was so much fun. Um, who am I going to tag? I am not gonna tag anyone in particular. Um, well, you know what? No, I will. I'm going to tag, um, it's always something around here. If she's watching, Luann, I want you to do this tag. If you have not been tagged already, I don't even know. Um, but anybody else that wants to join in on the tag should go ahead and do so. So with that being said, I am going to turn the camera on, turn it, well, make sure I have room and then I'm going to show you guys my home. So stay tuned. Okay, so I thought I would start with the back here um, behind me, what you guys already saw. Um, I kept a few of the same stuff I always have up here, but again, I added some pumpkins. Here are those cute little DIY decor items you guys can make. Um, this was another DIY I did a while ago, um, Pinterest party that we did here on YouTube. It was really fun. You did this um, spray painted these canning lids with cinnamon sticks oh so cute and so fun love those things i pull these out every year because i think they're so adorable another candle that is just my galvanized f for our last name but it also represents fall because it starts with an f <laughs> um, this was a plate from originally from target but i thrifted it from goodwill this is one of our fall um uh what would you call it goodwill challenges um that i did one of those and then coming over here this does nothing really in it. Um, I just have this candle burning. It is the pumpkin toffee. It smells so nice. It's not actually an overpowering smell, but it just smells really good. All I have here is just this little, I don't know, votive holder, but it's definitely fall related and I love the colors. Down on the hearth of my mantle, I have that autumn sign I got from Michael's 
a while ago after fall sale. I got that um, a ceramic or terracotta pumpkin from Ross. That was from the dollar store. And that was from Target, I believe. Or no, Kmart, excuse me. Oh, no, no, no. Actually, Big Lots. That's where I found that pumpkin. Super cute. Let me back up here. And then this looks a lot like it did last year. I took out the flowers I originally had in my picture here and I stuck in some wheat. I just think it looks pretty. More full. Got my pumpkins. Oh, and this one's not even lit. Ha, there we go. <laughs> I got um, thrifted this a long time ago um, from Goodwill. I just love the hurricane look. Hurricane glass look. Sorry, mercury glass. I can't talk today. And I just stuck out my brass candlesticks. Uh, I was going to put pumpkins on top, but I just thought it looked like too much going on over here. I have this bunting that I got from, I believe, Target a while ago. And then I have those pumpkins you guys recently saw me haul. Another candlestick. And then I just stuck one of those fabric pumpkins from Target on top of this um, pedestal. I think it looks super sweet. And then, of course, one of my Dollar Tree Owls. I love him. I think he's so adorable. And he is the piggy bank one. I've been looking for more of these, and my Dollar Tree has not had any. So if you guys have some of these, let me know when Dollar Tree gets them back. Because, I don't know, my Dollar Tree is just really weird. Um, coming this way, I have a couple more pumpkins. On top here, I have that sign from Target last year, and more pumpkins. I have this cute bouquet I made um, in the middle of my table. I don't know. I just think it looks so cute and fallish. I put some of these pumpkin steaks from the Dollar Tree to add some more color. Just looks super cute. And in the kitchen, I added, oh, that's really hard to see, actually, that pumpkin sign you guys saw me haul recently. I just stuck him in my windowsill, and I apologize that the lighting is horrible. Um, it just doesn't want to focus. There we go. And then coming over, um, I just stuck one of these little, this is just another little board pumpkin I got from, like, I think Michael's a couple years ago. And then on top of my fridge, I stuck a faux pumpkin in one of these baskets with all my farm stuff and then this cute towel I got from um, Joann's recently it was on sale it's just so cute I love it I think it's so adorable so that was my tour guys and my fall decor I hope you guys enjoyed it I'll see you guys next time bye